<laughs> Morning, geese. Morning, Mr. Toby Dog. How are you this morning, huh? It's good to see you. You wearing your special camera? So lately I've been doing an experiment with a special camera here on the farm. It's uh, this guy right here. It's a tiny little camera. It actually comes in two parts. So you got like the main case part, then it snaps out like this. And then you just have like a tiny little camera. And with this tiny little camera, I can mount it on pretty much everything. Well, maybe not those guys. The quality of the video footage is pretty good. And I have like these special like little accessories and mounting tools that let me mount it to pretty much any animal on the farm. And over the past couple of weeks, I've actually been mounting it on pretty much every animal here on the farm. And so in today's video, what I wanna do is show you some of the things that I've captured with these cameras and talk about some of the things that I've learned. But first off, Toby Dog, don't we have to go do something? Yes, we do. Release the quacking! <laughs> Yeah, the other day I actually put the camera on Sirius Quack. He's that black duck that you see running with the rest of the flock right there. He wasn't a huge fan of it, but it was very interesting to see what life is like for a regular duck. But while it was fun to put the camera on Sirius Quack, it was even more fun to put the camera on the runner deck. <laughs> Release the Quackers! <laughs> yeah, the runner ducks are so fast moving and energetic, it's interesting to watch them go around. They basically move as one single organism. <laughs> Good morning, Carmen. The other day I also had a chance to stick a camera on Carmen here and watch her run around and experience her struggles as a single mom trying to raise two kids. Her life is basically a Reba McIntyre song. Thank you. 
Mounting the camera is actually pretty easy and non-invasive, and so it's not like I have to worry about injuring or harming any of the animals that had the camera on them. So for example, watch as I stick this little camera on Ginny here. Come here, Gin Gin. Hang on, it's just gonna take a moment. There we go. And now we have Ginny Cam, see? I will admit that of all of the animals that I've stuck cameras on so far, the barn cats have quite possibly been my favorite. The animal that was hardest to get a camera on, as well as the most chaotic, was absolutely the geese. So far, I successfully stuck cameras on two geese. One, I stuck a camera on Lenny the Wobbly Goose, so you can see right here. Hey Lenny, how's it going, buddy? And then I also had a chance to stick a camera on my biggest Toulouse gander. I was terrified I was gonna lose a finger, but it ended up going okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
Out you go, little chickens. I haven't yet stuck a camera on any of these chickens. They're just a little bit too small, and so I worry that the weight of the camera would throw off their walking ability. So I wouldn't want to do that to cause them harm. But I did have a chance to stick a camera on Mr. Alexander Hamilton here. <laughs> How's it going there, Molly Barncat? <laughs> Rain and death from above? Up on the top of this coop is like Molly's favorite place to hang out lately. She likes to sit up here and watch everything going on around the barnyard. <laughs> All right, out you guys go. You can get out, come on. Whoa. General Washington here just jumped Alexander Hamilton. And then of all the animals on the farm who've been the most chill and obedient and relaxed is by far Mr. Toby Dog. You've been such a good camera dog. You know that, buddy boy? Yes, you have. Yes, you have. You know, the way this camera just sort of mounts to his collar, it clips in easy, and so he barely even notices that it's there. And so every time I stick a camera on Toby Dog, it's just a great doggy perspective. Now you guys are probably watching all of this and saying, wow, that's awesome. I would love to get one of those and mount it on my farm animals. And so you're probably wondering what the heck camera is it? Well, the camera is actually made by Insta360 and it's their go-to camera model. It's not cheap, but it's not crazy expensive. The folks at Insta360 actually sent me a couple to demo. Uh, they retail for, I think like about 300 bucks or so. And again, the way it works is you have this controller case and then you have the camera itself. The analogy I make is it's like a AirPod headphones where it's like, this is the charging case and this is the actual headphone. It's got this nice slick magnetic mounting so it just clips right into this case. But then there's a variety of accessories you can get that actually let you mount it onto different things. Like you can mount it to a baseball cap, you can mount it to animals. One of the cool things is because it's magnetic on the back here, I can actually just stick it right on my tractor and it, it stays put. So when you charge the, the camera inside the case, you get about 30 minutes of life with it is what I've found, maybe a little bit less. And then I find that you get like 15 minutes of continuous recording time before you have to start it again. One nice thing though is you can either just press it and it'll start recording. Like you can see, I just pressed it and it's blinking like that. And then all you have to do is unpress it when it's not recording. The actual camera itself holds about 30 minutes of footage too before you have to like offload it to your computer or your phone. It's not a perfect camera, but it's pretty darn amazing. You know, I've done experiments in the past with mounting cameras on my animals. You know, I've tried GoPros. Sometimes they've worked horribly. Sometimes they've worked pretty darn good. But what I really like about these Insta360 Go2 cameras is 
that they are so light and so non-invasive for the animal that I feel like I really do get a glimpse into the world of the animal and see how they see things. If you actually want to get one of these cameras as well as like some of the mounting things I use for mounting on the animals, I'll leave a, uh, an affiliate link down below, or a couple affiliate links down below. Um, you can check them out. Just full disclosure, if you buy one, I do get a little bit of a commission for telling you guys all about it. But yeah, I gotta say these cameras are pretty darn miraculous because it lets me see my farm in a way that I never would have imagined I could.